Welcome to Shishiru, where the name itself signifies the silence that descends when you're enjoying a meal. From its humble beginnings as a pop-up in Brixton, Shishiru has risen to earn a Michelin star, elevating West African cuisine in London. In doing so, head chef Adejoke Bakare became the first black female in the UK to earn a Michelin star and remains one of only two black female Michelin star chefs in the world. This restaurant pays homage to the rich culinary traditions of Nigeria's Ibo, Yoruba and Hausa tribes. Join us at Shishiru as we take you on a tour, interview Adejoke and explore the authentic flavours and heritage that define West Africa. Hi, welcome to Shishiru. My name is Vivian and I'll be your waitress this afternoon. Okay, so here we've got uh, two of our best-selling cocktails. So this is a spiced okra martini. So it's got a double of vodka and a single of ogogoro, which is a West African spirit based on palm sap. And I've got your bottle here. So it's Pedro's, really beautiful artisan drink. And you can see each bottle is actually batched individually. So we're really proud to serve this. And then here we've got suya and smoke. So we've got mezcal, there's the spirit, which is like a, a bit like tequila, but it's smoked. Uh, and then we've got some yaji in there too, to give it that kind of see a slightly fiery taste to the drink. And that's probably now become our best-selling cocktail. This is my first ever Michelin star cocktail. What is it? Sweet on smoke. Never had something like this, but I'm really excited to try it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is good. It just reminds me a bit like Nigeria. Like, obviously, as a Nigerian myself, I've had suya um, as a kid, and then many times, and just all packed into one drink. Cause, like, it's a little bit of a kick there, but it's really nice. Like, definitely need it on like a nice summery day. Got the okra cocktail. This is nice. It reminds me of childhood. I've never drank alcohol as a kid, but I always had okra and suya. Like, it's all packed into one drink. Like, I, I know my mum would love this. Hi. So this is for you to enjoy the mutton sausage, and that will be served. On the side, the dressing made of plantain matices, a fermented rice cake. On the top, you will see the compressed cucumber, but a squash nut puree. You have as well crushed walnuts and a bit of the on the top. One of my favorite, the akara, which is a bean fritter. That will be served up underneath the dressing made of fermented rhubarb. More chilies. Very nice. It tastes like love. <laughs> it tastes like passion. I understand why she got the Michelin star. This is nice. I never had the fermented rice cake before as well, but. To be honest with you, I'm not a food critic, so I don't know what this is, but very, very nice. Yeah, the texture, everything. I don't describe it, but it's like a nice crunch. Nice flavor. Any more of this. So we're gonna start with the sides first. This is our beautiful plantain. A selection of pickles here. The jollof rice, one each for you. You have heritage carrots and as well the beautiful aubergines glazed. For the beautiful men we have, we've got the ukwa with a Jerusalem artichoke. You have got some kohlrabi, green chili sauce. On here that will be the asa with the smoke here. Spotted broccoli, beetroot, sweet potato mousse, and as well the yams. And one of my favorites, the yassa with kine pao, grilled for you, lemon sauce and yaji, onion pickles, and please enjoy.
This is the plantain cocktail. I just found that they've got a plantain cocktail on the menu and I'm so excited to try it. Plantain is one of my favorite things in the world. So let's give it a go. So sweet, that's got a little kick to it as well. Like, I, I really, I'm really enjoying this, honestly. I need to try this. I need more than more of this. I'm stuck, don't know what to get. What would you use? Would you use a spoon or a fork? So this is the following color for you to enjoy. You cannot see it, but underneath it will be the peanut brittle, a little bit spicy. And here it will be the foyer carob to the top of grain. Next to it, you have the carob custard to the top of uh, cacao. And to finish, then on here, there will be the coconut twill. Enjoy. Hi, everybody. My name is Joke. Welcome to Chishiru. I'm the head chef and owner. Food inspirations. I would say uh, food that I had growing up because uh, I come from my, in my house the food that we eat is slightly different from what you get outside which is there's a mix mismatch of the different cultures in the house so my main inspiration is that food I had, food I had myself that all these cookbooks that you're buying it's all gonna pay off <laughs> <laughs> just cook from your heart uh, learn as much as you possibly can um, practice 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 your your style of food is valid it might be different from other people's own but as long as you cook from your heart that's the most important thing. When I won the Michelin star, I, I, was in the, I was dazed. I didn't expect, we didn't expect it because we thought our style of cooking, our style of food, wasn't what Michelin looks like or looked at. But it's wonderful now that Michelin is veering away from a set of strict regulations about how they, they come and inspect and what they do for you to deserve a star. And I think now more than anything, they're focusing more on flavors and just in many ways trying to be more modern. We want them to, that sense of hospitality that's very ingrained in us West Africans. We want immediately you come here, that's the first thing that you experience. Yes. Giving our own slice of West African, yeah, in London. Yeah. <laughs>